Welcome to Safari Science. My name is Reptile Rob, and learning's fun. So let's learn about snakes. <laughs> I have a question for you. Do snakes have bones in their body? Thumbs up for yes, thumbs down for no. All right, so if you said thumbs up for yes, you got the answer right. But if you got the answer wrong, don't worry. Because look at this. Is snake here? So bendy. It looks like he has no bones at all. I have bones, and I can't bend like that. It's impossible. So how do snakes have bones, and how are they so bendy at the same time? Well, Chocolate Chip here has over 400 bones in his body. That's a lot of bones. But he's also pretty small, so that probably means that the bones in his body are not that big. Now here's the, what I want you to do. Point your finger up, and bend your finger. Perfect. Now, as you're bending your finger, you might notice it's more like a snake. It's very bendy. And the reason why your finger is so bendy is because the bones are very small. And they have lots of joints connecting them. So, inside of a snake's body are hundreds and hundreds of small bones that are closely connected, which allow it to bend so well. Now, check this out. This is really cool. If you tap your chest right here, right in the middle, that's your sternum. That keeps your rib cage together. On a snake, they don't have a sternum because their job is to swallow food that's bigger than their head and sometimes even wider than their body. So their ribs actually kind of float. So check this out. Here's the snake ribs going down. I'll do it going upside down. And when the food goes in, the ribs can kind of spread apart to make room for the food. Yeah, pretty neat, right? So do snakes have bones? Yep, they sure do. This is Chocolate Chip. I'm Reptile Rob. Learning's fun at Safari Science. Bye-bye.